and welcome to the stage, Mr. Norman Brown.
Wow, y'all look lovely out there. Everybody got on white? We got the light going in here tonight. And oh, what a beautiful sight. We came down here to play for y'all. Y'all came out to show up and listen. And it's a beautiful mix of love energy. Can you feel me out here, Virginia? I got a current CD out there now. I wrote this song during the pandemic. You know, God got mad at us. Made us go inside for a recess. Everybody go in the house. Go in the house, stay in the house, go inside. He did that because we're not treating each other right. We gotta treat each other better, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying out there. Come on, let's spread the light. This is the song called Let's Get Away. Let's get away from that old negative mindset that we are all independent. And let's know that we are interconnected, interrelated. Therefore, we are interdependent on each other. Let's not forget that. It's called a unification, baby. Also, it means let's get away and go somewhere beautiful with someone fabulous and have a stupendously good time like we do here tonight in Virginia. This is my title track for my current CD, Let's Get Away.
All right. Just want to hear some guitar by itself. You know what I'm saying? Now, I was about eight years old. I come home from playing ball. And the house is full of people. Everybody's from the block, standing on the porch, hanging out. I look inside. My brother, who I had been sleeping in the same room with for eight years, was standing there playing the guitar. He had a drummer and a bass player, and it was like a block party. Everybody was hanging out. See what he's gonna keep this guitar. Right? Mr. Keys. Thank you very much, dear man. This is the man responsible for all this, y'all. It's his fault! I was here! Thank you for putting this together, brother. Come on, man. Beautiful angels like that, y'all, that makes this all possible. But we gotta come out and support him now. And you did, thank you. So now I'm back to the guitar. He goes to the same closet. I've been putting my shirts here for eight years. And I never saw a guitar there. He leaves to go hang out with his buddies. You know what I did. I snuck off into that closet. I found that guitar. Hide behind his shirts. <laughs> I pulled this thing out and they started talking to me. Come on, Norman, pick me up. Pick me up, you gotta pick me. Pick me up, you gotta pick me up. You gotta go to Virginia in 2003. <laughs> we gotta play for a lot of people. We gotta start practicing. I start practicing my guitar. And one day he came in and he busted me. I'm in the room sitting on the bed. I'm doing this stuff. <laughs>
Young women paying the gypsies by Jimmy Hendrix. I was served up, man. I didn't play it quite so well for him that night. He came and busted me. He said, man, I didn't know you wanted to play the guitar. He said, you can play it anytime you want to play it. And he went to bed. <laughs> I was supposed to get beat up. That's my hero right there. So later on, a year or so later, he says, man, I'm going to tell Daddy to give you your own guitar. I said, what? He can't afford that, man. He said, watch, well, he going to do it. So my father worked really hard. Two jobs every day. Saturday was his day. He goes to the park with his buddies and knock him back. Bam. <laughs> Friday night, my brother said, I'm going to go with Daddy tomorrow. I'm going to drive him so he can go in deep. <laughs> I said, okay. I wake up, they already gone. I'm sitting on the porch playing with my G.I. Joe. Here they come. Down the street, Saturday afternoon. Driving this plum crazy Dodge he had. That's a purple color. I said, okay. My brother jumped out of the car. He looked over at me on the porch. And he went into the trunk and pulled out a guitar and an amplifier. My goodness, my prophet had arrived. <laughs> Eagle Norman, I told you I was going to do it. I said, okay, Ben. Now I got the challenges on, right? I got to do some of this. I'm practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing. My father goes, hey, Norman, your brother was right. You really like that guitar, man, and you can play it too, huh? He said, Jimmy Hendrix is cool, but come on down to the basement. He said, when you learn how to play like this, you can play some guitar.
Thank you so much. That's my guitar story. But I can't be George. I can't be Wes. And I can't be Jimmy. I gotta be Norman. This is the West Coast Corner!
Jesus love. You know, life is all about the enjoyment of life. I wish to be of service to my fellow men as I journey through life. And to do this, I have adopted this creed as a guide to be followed in dealing with my fellow beings, to train myself so that never, under any circumstance, will I find fault with anyone. No matter how much I might disagree with them, or how inferior their work may be. As long as I know that they are sincerely trying to do their best. To respect my country, my profession, and myself. Yes. To speak of my country with praise and to act always as a worthy custodian of its good name. And to remember that success lies in my own brain. My favorite part. And to never forget and always remember to take a good grip on the joys of life. Let me say that again. Always remember to take a good grip on the joys of life. So that I may be a happy, not just successful, but a happy and successful worker in my chosen field of endeavor. I'm Norman Brown. Thank you.
Brown. Thank you so much for your